Hello and welcome to Structured Change. Today, I'm going to speak to you in the first of a series um, around a tool called a Cypoc. Now, a Cypoc isn't a one-eyed giant, that's a Cyclops. This is about a tool made up of five letters and it's supplier, input, process, output, and customer. It's a Lean tool or Lean Six Sigma tool that is used um, around the world to identify waste within a process and handoff points between artifacts and deliverables in an organization. From a change perspective, a structured change, we use and adopt the SIPOC model or, and process to actually understand how value is translated throughout the organization from a human perspective. Now, when we look at an organization, there are many moving parts. But there's also too, and you've probably experienced this yourself, is you may be doing a task or producing a deliverable and you ask yourself, why am I doing this? Now, it's not a derogatory question. More of us need to ask the question of why. And this is where the SIPOC model comes into play. The output of the SIPOC model series, you'll see that is one creates a picture of what a particular function in the organization does but it also enables you to piece out the organization holistically to understand the full system of the organization. From there, you have got the ability to quantify why you should be doing a particular change journey in the first instance. It's a great tool then to play back to the workforce who can see how the organization sits together. It's great for top management to consider how the organization is set up in the first place. It's great for human resources to understand what competencies are actually required. But of course, from the actual functions themselves, they can begin to challenge themselves as to what is the quality of information I'm providing to my internal customer? And what are the challenges that I might put back on my internal supplier to enable me to do my role with greater value and assurance. So if I play a SIPOC against um, the principles of asset management, what it really comes down to is you're leveraging visibility around alignment and assurance. So let's take a look as we move through the series and you'll see yourself how it's such a simple tool to use and it's a simple reference point to always remind people where we're changing from and of course, where we're changing to. Let's take a look.